Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, it's time for me to run through my empties and my unempties. So everything that I melted this week. Um, as usual, empties in the first video, unempties in the second. Um, so I'll get started straight away with the shot cups. Uh, so I did a few K one ounce shots this week. So uh, first one up is uh, Bum Bum, which is like Brazilian nut butter Capuacu butter, probably pronounced that wrong, um, pistachio and caramel. Look, to be honest to me, the description is kind of irrelevant because bum bum to me does not, the description really doesn't, other than the nut butters, it really doesn't just like capture for me what this is about. I don't get pistachio, I don't get caramel from it. Um, to me, and by the way, I love this scent. I have it in body, but I have the body butter and I've been using it a lot. It's really, really pretty. It has a floral touch to it. Um, I think there is a jasmine note in there somewhere. But yeah, it's... I definitely don't get pistachio. To me, it does have that kind of, like, nut butter, body butter kind of quality. Like, if you... Not that it's been so long since I've tried this stuff, I couldn't tell you if it smells just like it, but it brings back memories of, like, the old body shop um, like shea butter and things like that. It does smell like, you know, a really nice, um, it, it, it does. It smells like a body care product, but it just has this slight twist. And I feel like it's a floral twist to it that makes it really addictive and pretty. Mm, I really love it. I will say this one probably only had medium throw. Um, I'm going to be trying it from a few different brands. So I don't know if it was a K, K usually throws pretty well for me. So it might just be the scent itself. Um, but I am I have got some more blends with Bum Bum on the way. I do think this will be a really nice blender. Um to me it kind of sits in the same category as like not that it smells the same, but like um sweet on Paris and scents like that. Like just kind of sweet, smooth, slight, you know, floralish scents um that blend really well. So um looking forward to trying some blends in this one. And I think I after I've tried it from a few different vendors, I, I'd, I'd probably get it from K again anyway. Like it's, it is just a really good scent and you know, it smells really, it smells very authentic from her. Um, Aragula. So I guess just like sort of the, the lettuce, this one is a really good. So I've, I bought it because I've seen it in quite a few blends, but I wanted to try it solo and also to blend it myself. It's just, it's, to me, it's green, it's aquatic, and it's super fresh. Like, it's definitely a kind of a... Yeah, it's definitely a watery kind of green, but, oh my god, it's so nice. Um, super strong throw on this one. Um, and I actually would melt this... I'd melt this solo again. Like, this is actually better than a lot of just, like, a lot of green blends I've tried even. So, um, really, really good one. I think that one might become a staple for me. I also wanted to try out White Clouds on its own. So, I've never melted White Clouds before. Um, this one, I think, is, like, meant to be geranium, violet, and something else. Um, but it's basically a laundry scent. Look... To me, it just smells like a high-end hotel soap. That's really all I can say about it. It's pretty. It's not really my thing. Um, it threw pretty well. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, but that said, I will. I've because I'm not big on laundry. I do have sort of been avoiding blends with it, um, and I do find it pops up in some strange places. Um, I don't personally think it's as versatile as it's being used um but i'm probably not going to avoid white cloud blends as much as before because i do i do it's nice it's just yeah it's not anything special for me uh that smell would chop strawberry raspberry guava pink toasty mellow so this was really nice it's very sweet like it's very much to me it's like a trop kind of like a mixed a bag of like mixed fruit candy but you do get that creamy marshmallow to it, which is quite nice. Um, really good throw. It's one of those ones, if it was floating around in shot cups again, I'd probably throw another shot cup or two into an order, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it or I wouldn't get a large quantity. It did throw very well. I think I said that already. Um, so the Bathing Garden Toxic Earth. So this one is coffee, whiskey, caramel, and I think a hint of beer. 
First time I melted it, I didn't get very good throw at all. This time, and I only used one cube. This time I used two cubes in each warmer. It did do better. I still wouldn't say it was strong, but it was better. Um, Scent-wise, it was nice. I get a lot of coffee off it on cold. I feel like the coffee kind of died off a little bit warmer and it was more kind of a whis smooth whiskey caramel with just a hint of coffee. Didn't pick up any beer. I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, so I medium throw at best. Um, not a bad scent, but yeah, just because of the performance, um, I probably would, I wouldn't get it again. And I didn't love it, to be honest. Um, I will say Bathing Garden has been very patchy for me so far on performance. Some things are very, very strong and other things are very very middling so um that's something i'm you know still experimenting with but that's just sort of the verdict so far blended with love or the starlit corner uh summer sage so pineapple sage leaves paler santo um really really like this but i will say it's mostly pineapple sage i did get a slight palo santo woodsiness from it this time but it was very slight i mostly got that really really nice um, herbal pineapple scent, which I do love, but I would have liked to have had more kind of the woodsy tone. Maybe a touch of cream. Like I feel like a touch of marshmallow or creaminess might have helped with this one as well. Um, the throw was very strong. Don't feel like I need to get it again. Blended with love is, I love her blends, but she's not, um, her wax is not the cheapest. So, um, I will say that, yeah, if, if I buy a blend, and it's dominated by one scent, then there's probably not much per point repurchasing it because I could just find the single oil somewhere else cheaper. Super Tarts, Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, Sugar Taffy, Blackberry Pineapple. Absolutely loved this. It's fruity, it's candy, it's creamy. Oh, so, so good. The blackberry and pineapple just go together so well. I feel like I get slightly more pineapple than blackberry, but I do get both. Um, just a really fun, really nice, pleasant summer scent. Um, I'm not normally big on the taffy and the candy scents, but for some reason when Super Tarts does them, I really enjoy them. It's pretty much the only brand that can do sort of like lollipop and taffy scents than, and make me enjoy them a lot. Um, good strong throw. Yes, I would get this one again. Probably don't need to get it anytime soon because I feel like this is a summer only scent and if I was to buy it now um yeah it, by the time it gets here uh it would not be summer anymore but um and it's not even available anyway so but at some point through the year I will probably get like another clam for next summer maple and wattle the conjuring this is a spooky a spooky concoction of passion fruit guava and tonka bean this one I didn't really get the connection to halloween the scent was not really a Halloween scent. I mean, it's fine. Um, it was a really, really nice scent. It's a beautiful, um, a really beautiful, like, sweet and creamy passion fruit guava. Like, the tonka bean just added that kind of vanilla type um, aspect to it. And it was really, really good. It was very strong. Like, yeah, the guava and the pa the passion fruit, sometimes they can be very kind of tangy and almost bitter. Um, or, or sour, sorry, is probably the better word. Um, but not here at all. It was just beauti a beautiful, sweet, um, you know, with a good amount of sort of um, tonker, tonker in it. It was really, really lovely. Good, strong throw. I'm regretting because I think it was just a limited edition for Halloween. I am regretting not getting more of that one because I really liked it. Um, Nene's Kitchen Melts, Blackberries and Cream. Uh, not much to say about this one because it didn't throw. Can't really smell anything in the bag either other than a slight creaminess, but I couldn't smell anything at all. So, uh, not something I would get again. Nene's Strawberry Margarita. This one wasn't too bad. It's a nice, almost kind of fizzy, um alcoholic kind of scent you get you definitely get the lime i feel like i get more lime than i get strawberry but you do get that sort of strawberry tone and it's a, not an unpleasant strawberry either uh, it, yeah it was kind of stock standard it was it was mostly a margarita scent a bit of strawberry to it the throw was reasonable um it, it wasn't anything special like i don't need to get it again but it was fine Savannah Blue Beach Bonfire, so Marshmallow Fireside, Graham Crackers, Salty Sea Air. So this one's kind of in that family of beach nights, but it's a bit different because it's 
obviously graham crackers and marshmallow fireside rather than a smaller scent. And it's not bad. It definitely has quite a lot of salty sea air to it, but this, there's a nice sweetness. I didn't mind it. I mean, I think the first time I melted it, I was wanting it to be Beach Nights, and obviously it's not. So I didn't love it this time around. I liked it better because I appreciated it for what it was, but it's still probably not something I need to get again. Um, throw was pretty good on this one. Like, not super strong, but it was strong enough. Empire Alchemy Friday the 13th. So Camp Anawana Charred Marshmallows Pine Woods Bourbon. So Camp Anawana is like a, again, it's like a toasted pine cones, marshmallows, woods type scent. So there is a bit of, I don't know, I guess duplication or something. But this is, it doesn't really matter. It's fantastic. Um, woodsy, sweet. You really actually get the bourbon, especially cold. I'm smelling a lot of bourbon on this cold. I, I think it toned down. It wasn't quite as prominent when I warmed it up, but you definitely got that boozy tone. You get that beautiful toasted marshmallow, toasted pine cone scent, which I really love. Um, the sweetness from the marshmallows, like these are the sorts of blends that Empire Alchemy absolutely excels at. Um, this one threw really strongly as well. Um, I mean, granted, it was like a waffle bar, not a waffle bar, sorry, a... Uh, they look like a clamshell, but they're not those kind of break or those six cube breakaway bar things. Um, I do use two squares per warmer, which is probably slightly more wax than what I normally would for Empire Alchemy. But I feel like one cube isn't enough, and I can't be bothered cutting them into one and a half. So two it is. Um, but definitely, I've got another. I've got another one of this, um, and I definitely would get it again. Or I mean, Camp Anawana, I would also get again, but this one I think was even better than Camp Anawana on its own. So um, I would get that one again. It was fantastic. Um, strawberry S'mores from Savannah Blue. So this one was Toasted Marshmallow, Strawberry Pound Cake, Caramel Cookie. I really enjoyed this. Every time I melted it, I really enjoyed it. I was very surprised. I don't know why. Strawberry Pound Cake can be hit and miss to me, and I just didn't think that with Caramel Cookie it would go that well because I'm not a huge caramel lover, and I feel like the caramel was the strongest, but it turned out really nicely. <sighs> yeah, it was just, it was caramel, but the strawberry kind of stopped it from being too sickly sweet or too um, too heavy, like caramel can be, um, but it wasn't like overly strawberry, it was just enough. Yeah, I can't actually smell too much from the bag for some reason. Um, I'm getting a fresh scent off it, but... Um, I remember enjoying this every time and it threw quite well. Um, and I would get this one again. I have to remember there's two, there's, I think there's toasted strawberry and then there's strawberry s'mores, which are both stra strawberry pound cake blends and marshmallow blends from Savannah Blue. I thought they would be quite similar, but the toasted marshmallow one, um, the toasted strawberry one, I didn't like. And this one I really enjoyed. So I just have to remember that it's s'mores that I enjoyed. Uh, Empire Alchemy Pink Fondant Bow. So pink sugar, salty sea air, waffle cone laced with vanilla fudge. It, it was okay. I definitely have some issues with the waffle cone oil that she uses. It has a really funny tone and I always pick it up no matter what blend it's in. So this had quite a sickly sweet sort of tone from that pink, no, from the vanilla fudge, sorry. But I liked the smell of the pink sugar and I liked the salty sea air though. So those two kind of notes sort of redeemed the whole thing. Otherwise, I think it would have been just too sweet and too weird. Still didn't love it. Throw was probably only a medium. Um, not something, this was in a sampler. I don't feel the need to purchase that one, but I didn't hate it. It was okay. Um, trampled linen from Empire Alchemy. So clothes, line, laundry, fresh dirt, torn grass, ozone. So this was nice. It was not super strong though. It was not, I feel like the, um, you do sort of get, you pick up the dirt and the grass first, but then the ozone and the laundry just kind of round out that sharp ickiness that dirt scents can get sometimes. Um, like it doesn't smell like heavily fresh aired or laundry, but just, yeah, there's just the, rather than being just a dirt and grass scent, they just tighten it up and turn it into something that's um, actually quite enjoyable. But yeah, the throw was sort of medium at best. Not something I need to purchase, but it was it was not bad. L3 Waxy Wonders Nocturne Alley. So this one is like Rainstorm Marshmallow Fireside. 
Um, I really enjoyed it. I really like her Rainstorm. So far, I haven't encountered a single blend with Rainstorm that I didn't love. It's really unique and it's really, it gives her, it gives the air a kind of heavy atmospheric tone, which is exactly what you want from a Rainstorm scent. Like it's fresh, but there's, def there's like a depth and a heaviness to it, which I really enjoy. And it blended really well. It, um, you really get the smoky tones out of Marshmallow Fireside, which I don't always pick up, but I definitely got them here. Um, good strong throw. I look. I wouldn't get big quantities of it again. This was like an owl. I would throw. I would potentially throw in another like shape of that size and do it again. Not any bigger than that, but um, yeah, something like that would be fine. Um, Rose Girls Dunk My Donut, which I blended with, uh, Handworks Blueberry Cobbler. So I haven't finished that yet, but I'll pull it in here because that's what I blended it with. Um, it was a really good combo. Um, I actually got both scents quite strongly, so the, I definitely got the sweet. This is, to Handworks Blueberry Cobbler is a very sickly sweet blueberry to me. Um, the Dunk My Donut cut that sweetness really nicely. It still came across very blueberry. But I got that strong sort of cinnamon sugar donut tone, which was really, really good. Um, the combo threw really well. Um, probably don't need Dunk My Donut again. Like, it took me a long time to get through this one. Um, and this was only like four pieces. The Handworks. I'm still not sure if I'd get this again to blend. I think I, pr I do prefer... Um, I like having blueberry on hand to blend with. But I prefer Super Tarts Blueberry over the Blueberry Cobbler. But... Still, this combo was very good. Sorry, the dog's barking. Empire Alchemy Ringleader. So Egyptian Musk, Bergamot, Fern, Rosemary, Coffee. Loved this. Mm. This this is another type of blend that Empire Alchemy really excels at. They're, they're these really unique coffee scents in that, yes, you can smell the coffee, but it's not heavy it's not like a coffee dominant scent it just kind of adds to the to the to the complexity of the blend this one almost leans earthy and it was actually quite pretty melting like uh, i think it maybe maybe the egyptian musk and bergamot but i remember walking in going this is quite it was a lot more feminine toned than i expected it to be yeah, I feel like I got mostly the musk and the bergamot with just sort of a little bit of coffee lurking in the background. Um, the fern and the rosemary, I'm sure that they're there, but I don't really get much of a herbal or a green tone from it. So, again, I think they're just... Sorry, just bear with me. Oh, I swear, I keep pausing the video because the dog's barking at something. And then she stops and then I start again and she barks again. Anyway, yeah, this one this one was really quite surprising to me. Like it's somehow it yeah, it manages to be like this pretty feminine scent. It's not herbal. It's got a coffee tone to it. It's very, yeah, very unique. It threw really well, and I, I, I actually will potentially request this one to get again. I'll have to sort of note down um what it was called so I remember it because I really, really enjoyed it. Rose Girls Pond Scum. I couldn't find the notes to this, but I mean, it's basically like, you know, a green, mossy, very, very strong aquatic sort of scent. It was really good. It does have that, a lot of the sort of fresh scents that I've tried from Rose Girls, they just have this tone to them that just stops it from quite being a pure realistic fresh scent and more like a cologne version of it I don't know how else to describe it but there's just always something there I don't hate it like it's just I've had other, there's always other fresh scents I like more um it threw really strongly um and for quite a while too it, it did sort of die off the way some rose girl scents do for me um it's probably not one I need to get again but it, it was reasonable. It was good. Last empty for the week. Uh, tea Time Tarts Cherry Frosted Zucchini Bread. So creamy zucchini bread with sweet cherry buttercream frosting. This is really good. The cherry is kind of light on it. Um, I sort of, I went in there, I went into the bedroom where it was melting a few times. 
and it took me a while to place what it was because I could smell I could smell zucchini bread and kind of a creamy frosting note and like a slight deepness but didn't really smell like cherry but I can see how it kind of was cherry but anyway um it threw pretty well um I enjoyed it but I don't feel like I need to get it again um, that's it. That's all of the empties. So I'm going to move straight on into the unempties. So hopefully I'll see you all there and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.